In between, you have med ball slams for five, and then if, depending on your coach, you'll have neck or you'll have hips. Okay, we're good with that. All right, hit, two, two. hit, three, hit, four. So this past Christmas, we were able to uh, upgrade our facility um, thanks to the Gridiron Club. Um, we went from six double-sided racks to 13 double-sided racks, and it feels like we gained space in our room, which is amazing. Still have the turf, the dumbbell pits. It gives us a lot more storage to use the turf and use the middle of the weight room. And then we have a lot more space within the racks as well to get done what we need to do. Since we have all this new equipment, we have been able to design our workouts the way we kind of want to design them. And in saying that, you know, we're able to condition for the game of football in this room. We don't have to just be outside to, you know, run play drives or try to simulate football in a way. We can come in here and dictate rest. We can dictate, um, you know, percentages and we can condition their bodies to play this game at a high level in this room. So with this, we just got so much more spacing. We have a whole lot more flow. Um, it just ensures our efficiency of what we're trying to do. And it just makes everything which we're trying to do um, a whole lot more optimal. So for the kids standpoint, for them getting better as a student athlete, enhancing their capabilities, and then us also ensuring their safety by being able to see everything that's going on in the room. So our philosophy here at UMass is, is very simple. All right, it's, it's come in here, train hard, and be consistent. And if you can do those things as a, as a group, as an individual, as a team, then we're gonna move the needle. And that's what we're trying to do. Every day is come in here, and coaches included, coach with intensity, train with intensity, and be consistent day in and day out. Every day I come in as a coach, I try to be passionate, tough love, make sure that the guys know I love them, everything I do is for them. But at the end of the day, we have a goal to get to and any goal that they make with us, it's our job to get them there. Everything that I am or how I talk to myself when I train or how I speak to myself when I'm trying to accomplish something is exactly how I coach these kids too. So not just trying to coach them, but teach them as well and just being hard on them anytime that they're within these walls, but also making sure anytime you see them outside the building that you're loving them up, making sure that you care about them as a human being more so or as much as possible, I should say. Um, because that's really why we're here. We're here for those kids. It's not a transactional relationship. It's a, more of a transportation. You know, I don't give you something to get something. You come in and we're gonna get to this together. We had a great off season going into spring ball. Spring ball was great. Went into uh, post spring ball, which we got to see a lot of gains out of our, um, we do combine training after spring ball, which we got to see a lot of gains in numbers and things like that. Um, and coming and it really kind of rolled right into um, our summer program and our summer program has been intense it's you know if you ask the guys it's probably been one of the hardest ones that they've been through in a while they've been taking steps and strides every single step of the way since we uh, came back here in february and have grown as a team in so many ways we look at this team a year ago today um, the guys come in and they're, you know we're able to start at a deeper point than we did last summer the energy that they're bringing the intensity that they're bringing into the weight room on the field every day you know, it's, it's completely different. The offense has that chip on their shoulder this year and the defense is making them earn it every single day. What they're seeing now, especially being in week three of our summer program, is that their bodies are starting to adapt. The workouts are starting to get easier. The runs are starting to get easier. Um, everything is starting to come together. And I, you know, I keep harping on them and I tell them every day that every day it's gonna get a little better. Every day it's gonna be, your, your body's gonna adapt a little more. To be able to see that progress especially from year one in 2021 to see where we're at now in 2023 has been absolutely incredible. And just to see where it's gonna go from here uh, is gonna be very exciting to see.